Yo, what's up, YouTube? All right, guys. I started stripping this board down uh, day before yesterday. Haven't finished. I'll come through today and remove the rest of these diodes. This actually half is fried out as it looks. It still works, um, but I'm taking not this. Just just this half works. So the blues and the reds. The reds work on this side, but not the blues. I just replaced everything, pulling everything off, and I'm going to use this aluminum panel and heat sinks. I may add an extra heat sink on here and um, I'll come through and remove all the solder and uh, clean it up and I'm going to mount some cobs to this to this uh, to this board here. I'm going to utilize the the aluminum backing, the heat sinks, the wiring, just the plugs and um, of course I'll unsolder it and use it and I'll run my own wiring but um, so I'm probably thinking about five cobs. I'll run two cobs here and one in the middle, uh, or maybe even I'm not, I might run six cobs. I'm not sure yet, but um, I want to get as much, much coverage as I can with uh, with what I have, and I may even use a couple of these red and UV diodes in here. Um, I saved them all; they're all right here, and a lot of them are still good. I actually, all of them work still, um, even though they look burnt. The reason why they look burnt is because, let me see if I can find one here that's not broken. Um, well this one here, this is a good example. If it'll zoom in, okay, I know it doesn't look pretty, but um, the top of it is starting to burn out. You can see, I mean, it's not burned out, what it's doing is it's, uh, it's, it's burning the, the lens with the with the compound that they use to seal all these up because these are actually um, these are mini heat sinks on top of uh, the diode on top of the actual chip if it'll zoom in you see the back there's an aluminum there's a metal backing or aluminum backing that's the actual slug the heat sink and uh, it provides power to the diode which is underneath the glass bubble like these here are uh, are a different type of diode. These ones here are the ones that we that are that I'm taking off of the other board. This is a different board with uh, different chips, and these chips right here are like SMD chips, but they don't have any kind of glass bubble on them, like these ones do. Like the little reflector, those are actually reflectors. And what happens is the the coating that they put over the the diodes uh, eventually gets so hot that it starts to cloud the inside of the bubble and the light the diode will still work if you break the bubble and just clean off all the crap it's not going to be as efficient but it will still work um, the diodes pretty much all the burning off all the crap on top of it as you can see with these ones here it's got it's got like a waterproofing on it a coating and that's to protect the, the actual diode underneath it and these diodes right here look like they're red or some kind of uh, some kind of red nanometer, a red light. These are red. Uh, the middle one, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It might be a white diode. Uh, but these here are all reds. And this is just a different uh, a different LED panel. It's utilizing the same other diodes as well, but it's using those diodes as well, SMDs, and uh, it's just a different type of LED. But anyways, going back to the board here, um, I'm still going to utilize the board and the heat sinks. What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll take off the material, I'll, I'll go ahead and take off all the flux and take it, everything down and I'll grind, a, I'll grind the spots where the cobs are going to go. I'll clean off all the this coating. Uh, underneath this coating is actual the, the wire, the copper cables that run to each diode and from vice versa to every other diode to how it lights up the board but I'm just going to run the 3500k uh, cobs and I'll probably use some of these red nanometers uh, red diodes in between uh, to mix up with the actual cobs so I can run some of these diodes as well and I can reuse them and they still are work they're still functional and work uh, this diode right here looks like to be a white diode there's a lot of different types of colors in here from white to soft white to blues and reds. Uh, this is a Mahizi light right here, so it's heavy in the blue like the Viper Spectras. Actually, it's pretty similar to them. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much old LED technology right here, guys. 
uh, everything nowadays is becoming SMD boards or like Mars Hydro's the way they're doing theirs or Cobbs. Cobbs is actually I think the way of the future but I think there's still a use for these diodes as well to, to add infrared, UV and uh, and uh, some certain red nanometers uh, you know what I mean like some lights that have a 15 minute timer for spectrum as far as uh, the reds, the deep reds everybody does things different but I'm just gonna do cobs like I said and we'll see what it looks like when it's done guys I'm starting to take everything apart like I said I was gonna use um, I'm gonna utilize everything guys the same housing everything's gonna be the same on this uh, light I'm gonna be using everything on it so I don't have to really change out much this is the the drivers on the, the back of the inside the guts the brains I guess the muscle and this will power everything in here guys sorry it's a little taken apart but these are the two drivers they power the fans with these drivers here and this driver here is independent and it just powers uh, the reds or blues whatever you want um, I, I still need to figure out the actual uh, voltage coming out of these they got to be about 500 milliamps maybe even more but I have to double check on those uh, but I'll, I'll run I'll, as soon as I figure that out with my multimeter um, I'll get to that but for now I'm just gonna concentrate my work here on the board and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this board apart finish taking out the rest of these slugs yeah, it's fairly easy I just use my tweezers I get them underneath the, the back of the diode here I'll wedge it in there like that and then I'll stick my soldering iron to the diode and then heat it up until it comes off and that's pretty much all I'm doing and uh, we'll go ahead and do this and replace the rest of these re take off the rest of these diodes I should say not replace take them off and then uh, we'll order the cobs and get everything set up but uh, before I order the cobs I need to check the voltage on those uh, drivers and make sure they can s they can handle what what kind of cobs I'm gonna get depending on the actual voltage and milliamps of the of the drivers but um, easy way to fix your guys' LEDs or hack them if you want to guys um, really inexpensive too. I think you can get cobs for from anywhere from twelve bucks to thirty dollars, depending on what you're using. You can go with CXB thirty five nineties, but the cheapest ones that I found are like thirty bucks, twenty eight bucks. You know what I mean? Right around there. And some places have shipping, some places have free shipping. Uh, but definitely worth looking around. I've seen the Citizens, um, I've seen the Luminux, I've seen the, the Crees. There's just a multitude of LEDs and cobs you can you can do with it and depending on the voltage and the milliamps you can um, you can mix and match you can put 13500k 6500k and then put some reds and some blues in there if you really wanted to um, I'm probably gonna add just like I said I'll probably use the UV and the ultraviolet uh, or the UV and the infrared I mean and the and uh, maybe some reds but we'll see what happens when I get to that point and what kind of cobs we end up getting I'll definitely keep this updated on my channel guys so just keep an update keep an eye out for it if you're interested um, give me a thumbs up by the way if you like the video uh, everybody have a good day and be safe